Hello my darlings and welcome to another video and another setup. I'm full of surprises all the time. Anyways guys, welcome to my channel and to a new video. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please go ahead and join the family, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell and of course follow me on Instagram. We have a lot of fun there. Okay guys, so today um, as you can see, I look a little bit innocent. I have no makeup on. I hope you appreciate this look, but I just couldn't be bothered today, to be completely honest, and I really wanted to record for you. So, today I'm gonna make a video for you that I have never done before. Wow! I've never done a white floral roundup on this channel. Can you believe it? And since I started my channel, I never thought I would do one, to be completely honest, because I never thought I'm a big fan. But things change, and actually I've acquired so many perfumes with very prominent white floral notes that I absolutely adore, and I've learned so much about white florals that I would love to share it with you. So today we're gonna talk about Jasmine, Gardenia, Tuberose, Lily of the Valley, all that good stuff that we have in perfumes, which make them either very nice and innocent or super animalic and sexy. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna actually start with a very, very heavy hitter. And this is none other but Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge. This is actually a decant that I kindly received from Royalty Scent subscription service. If you haven't checked them out, please check them out because they're very, very good. They have a great selection of perfumes to choose from. So when it comes to Jasmine Rouge, I'm actually wearing it here in the dry down. I never thought I would like it. To me, this is a very, very mature fragrance. It is described as a blend of white florals and yellow florals. So you have uh, Ilang Ilang here, Broom. Um, you've got Jasmine, Neroli. In the very beginning, you have Cinnamon, Ginger. So it's a very warm, spicy fragrance with some... I don't want to say holiday, but you know how yellow florals work, right? They give you that beachy vibe, so there's a hint of it in here. But then you get that very indolic, animalic, super sexy jasmine. And in the dry down, you've got amber, you've got some woody notes, and you've got some vanilla and leather, which I'm not the fan of, but leather is not very prominent in here, so we're good if you don't like leather. Yeah, this is a very, it turns a little bit soury, that jasmine and those white florals in here, if you know what I mean. Like, in in general, in oriental perfumes that are prominent with indolic jasmine, that really likes to happen. But it makes it very, very sexy. I wouldn't say it's too warm, but it's definitely a little bit spicy. I get that vanilla... I get Ilang Ilang for sure. So this is a beautiful blend of yellow florals with very sexy, sexy animalic jasmine with some spices, with some vanilla, with some amber. Beautiful blend, I must say. This is a gorgeous fragrance. Um, definitely a mature one, I must say. I wouldn't see really a teenager rocking it. I feel like you really need to train your nose a little bit to actually really appreciate it. Uh, a year ago, I would say I hate it. Right now, I love it. So that's Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. Next, I want to talk about something that has been in my collection for years and years and years since I was a teenager. If you haven't checked out my uh, video where I talk about my teenagers of perfumes and how I started, I will link it right here for you. But I want to talk about quite a heavy hitter. Pure Poison by Dior. And this is like the ultimate white floral designer fragrance. Uh, it's definitely sweeter than Jasmine Rouge. Here you have a lot of citruses. You have some woody notes as well. And that um, Jasmine, it's quite prominent in here as well. I really, really love it. So in Pure Poison, you've got Jasmine, of course. You also got Gardenia. You have Musk. You have cedarwood. It's a very nice blend. To me, it's quite clean but dirty at the same time, if you know what I mean. Um, that gardenia makes it smell like it's a fresh laundry kind of vibe, 
but then you've got a very indolic jasmine that makes that um, scent kind of dirty and a little bit sexy. Very, very interesting blend. I know it smells different on different skins, so you have to test it first uh, before purchasing, I would say. So that's your Pure Poison. I really, really like it. It has been in my stash forever. Okay, next one is definitely new to my collection and I've raved about, raved about it ever since and this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. And this is another beautiful jasmine with some woody notes, a lot of coconut. It's beautiful, it's just perfection. This is one of my mm, definite favorite fragrances. It's definitely way sweeter than the other two that I just talked about. It's not as indolic, um, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's white floral, it's woody, it's everything in a bottle. Basically everything that I like having in a fragrance it has, so I just had to quickly mention it. So that Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense, favorite of the whole line. Speaking of the the one line though, um, there is one only but a goodie that I've been wearing so much when I was younger. Funny thing, I have never mentioned it, I don't know why, but uh, this is a beautiful white floral with fruity notes. So if you like fruity notes with some vanilla, you will absolutely love it. It's quite powdery now. Um, and this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one in the classic gold bottle. To be completely honest, I actually used to prefer the flankers that they came out with. So there was uh, the one Lu in a silver bottle and then they had Rose the one, which was absolutely favorite of mine. They do not do it anymore, unfortunately. But we still have the original and I feel like it's becoming more and more popular once again because they recently released the Eau de Toilette version. But if I were you, I would honestly stick to the original and I have already placed my order to reintroduce myself to that fragrance again because I remember really, really loving it, along with my mom, actually. And this is a fruity vanilla white floral fragrance. So you have plum in there, of course you have jasmine, you have lily, lily of the valley. So there's a whole bunch of white florals and then you have a very smooth powdery base. Very interesting fragrance, quite distinctive and I feel like it's very, very classy. You cannot really go wrong with this. Even though I would say it's quite mature, it's quite flirty at the, at the same time because of those beautiful fruity notes that are in the beginning. There is a little a bit of citruses in there as well. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. I really, really like it. Dolce & Gabbana, the one in the gold bottle. When it comes to newer releases for white florals for this year, I must say I've completely fell in love with Giorgio Armani my way and this is a beautiful tuberose citrusy woody fragrance it's very uplifting it's fun but yet it has so much class to it and what i really really like about what they did is that they wanted something flirty but yet quite sophisticated and i feel like that tuberose that is in there really really makes it very like put together of a fragrance. It's not another fruity floral that are on the market. It's a little bit bubblegummy that tuberose in there, but then it gets into those woody notes, which I really, really appreciate. So yeah, from the new releases, I really, really love My Way from Giorgio Armani, and I'm definitely purchasing it soon. Another fragrance that I absolutely love, guys, I just fell in love. First time I saw it um, on Moon, Moon Perfumes, here on YouTube's channel. I love that woman. She is absolutely fantastic. And I really, really trust her taste. And she was talking about Amouage love tuberose. So as soon as I saw her raving about it, saying that this is her favorite Amouage perfume, I was so into it. I really, really wanted to try it. And I did have a chance to try it at Dubai Airport. They kindly gave me a little decan so I could test it out. And guys... I'm definitely purchasing it, I, that I can promise you. I just love that fragrance. This is a beautiful, creamy, super sophisticated tuberose and there's vanilla and whipped cream. Like, 
I cannot. I just cannot wait to get my hands on it. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be my favorite arm wash perfume as well because I did try um, the pink one, Blossom Love, I think it's called. I also tried Sunshine. I tried Beach Heart and. For some reason, they all had that one ingredient that really bugged me, and with Love Tuberose, this is all perfection. I I just cannot. And I feel like Tuberose is really, really hyped up in perfumery right now. More and more brands, even designer right now, are really coming up with so many Tuberose perfumes, but this one is top-notch. This is like the, the best of the best of the best when it comes to Tuberose when it comes to that sweet creamy tuberose I would say because there are some animalic perfumes that I also love that have very prominent tuberose that I'll get into in a minute but yeah that one when it comes to those sweeter creamy cozy perfumes this is my favorite by far so love tuberose by Amouage definite purchase worthy white floral guys you need to try it you just need to try it trust me and trust moon <laughs> Okay, another one. Speaking of a very prominent tuberose that is a little bit more animalic, sexy, uh, deep. Uh, this is my favorite perfume at the moment. And this is Rouge Malachite or Malachite by Giorgio Armani. They also have the Vert Malachite version and the Azuli, the blue one. I love them all. But this one is definitely my favorite. It kind of reminds me of Alien. I've said that many times. I talked about this many times, so I just don't want to repeat myself. But this is tuberose to the core. Like there's so much tuberose in here with amber, with some spices. Um, it has a little bit of an herbally hint. At the same time, having a little bit of that beachy vibe, you know, the same uh, beachy vibe that the, where is it? Here it is, that Jasmine Rouge has. There is some similarity between these two. But this one, to me, definite favorite. Oh, I'm definitely getting a bigger bottle, that I can tell you. Even though there is still a lot of it in here, I really feel like I want a backup. I love this one. So, yeah, this is Amber Tuberose. Um, a little bit beachy, a little bit indolic, a little bit um, with that ambery warmth, a little bit herbally. I love this one. Yeah, very, very, again, mature fragrance with a lot of tuberose, but one of my favorites. So that's our like deep, sexy tuberose here, Rouge Malakite. Okay, next, uh, I need to talk about these fragrances because they are like the white florals prodigies and these are aliens and these two in particular so this is the original eau de parfum and as you guys probably have seen million gazillion times this is woody amber indolic jasmine and there's nothing more to it however it's absolutely beautiful on me actually it has a little bit of a marsepony vibe when I first spray it initially which really really got me into that fragrance when I was a teenager so yeah this is a beautiful indolic oriental jasmine but another one that I absolutely love that is stronger on white florals and citruses is Alien Eau Extraordinaire this would not be a white floral perfume rent if I didn't mention these two, so I just really, really had to. I love these. One of my favorite white florals for sure. This one, as I said, is quite far from the original Alien. You still have some DNA of it, but not too much. So if you don't like Alien, you might probably love this one anyways and this is citrus very zesty it's still woody it's still amber but a beautiful fresh take on alien and this one actually lasts so long on the skin guys even though it's all the toilet don't be discouraged this really really lasts and of course the original okay i'm just not gonna say anything you you know the drill you know the drill okay next one by tom ford and this is very, very tuberose heavy, guys. Um, this is definitely not for everyone. I also have to be in a very particular mood to wear it because it's quite dusty. Um, it's very strong. And 
other than that, I really love it. <laughs> and this is Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford. First of all, the bottle is fantastic. I must say it's quite art deco, retro, rose gold. What else would you want? And yeah, as I said, that tuberose, it's not a bubblegum tuberose at all. This is a very dry, very dusty tuberose. So you have to be quite brave to wear it. I must say though, this is a very nice fragrance to mix with other tuberose fragrances. So this one actually has whipped cream in it, okay? Um, which gives that perfume a lot of sweetness as it dries down. It is really beautiful as it dries down, I can promise you. Uh, but I would say the best mix of all time would be, mi would be a mix of Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford and Amouage Love Tuberose. If you own these two fragrances, guys, just try it. I promise you, you're gonna die. You're gonna die how good it is. But going back to this fragrance, it's a beautiful tuberose base. Like, if you want some tuberose in your fragrance, just use this and I feel like it's a good mixer. Even though it's a very prominent, pungent fragrance, it's still a nice one to mix with other fragrances. So yeah, Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford. Alright, what do we have here? Of course, I have to talk about the... Um, another star of the show when it comes to white florals and this is white floral vanilla typical white floral vanilla and this is your addict uh you know i really like it it's again quite mature uh very very sweet very powdery um very vanilla with a lot of jasmine i think there's orange blossom in here if i'm not mistaken as well so yeah very very good fragrance uh a good all year round the for special occasions for date nights for parties you're gonna get noticed it's sexy it's sophisticated it smells very rich it really smells like you have money so if you want to smell like you have money you're at it it's good. It's old, but it's good. <laughs> Sometimes cougars are okay, okay? All right, next one. Uh, quite a newer release, but it's been on the market and it's been talked about, but I really, really like it for the right white florals in it particularly. And this is Libre by YSL. I know it's mainly uh, described as lavender vanilla, but to me, especially on my skin, I can smell a lot of jasmine. There's some citruses in here, quite sweet citruses, which I really, really like. So yeah, this one is really good when it comes to white floral scent, if you don't want to be too strong on the white floral. And this one is not as mature. So um, if you're a little bit younger, like early 20s, I feel like this is the white floral that you can totally rock. I really, really enjoy this. The lasting power is fantastic, I must say. It's very nicely when it comes to projecting. Very, very good fragrance. And, of course, we have Guerlain, Mont Guerlain. This is another lavender scent, another powdery vanilla mix. And this one also has a jasmine. But for some reason, they're completely different. This is definitely more potent on Tonka. If you love Tonka, you're gonna love this. It's a little bit more soury, very sophisticated fragrance. I really, really love it. So yeah, check this one out. Okay, next one I want to talk about is a mask-based fragrance that is in Poland. Um, so I cannot show you the bottle. And this is Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Eau de Parfum. This is my favorite out of the whole bunch. Um, maybe with exception of the newest one, Ambre, which I really, really enjoy. So this one is gardenia based. So you don't have too many white florals in here. You mainly have gardenia and musk. So it's very, very good. It smells definitely like a clean laundry. It's way, way cleaner. Let me see. It's cleaner than this one. This one is a dirty girl, okay? That one's a very nice girl, very put together girl. She has her legs crossed when she sits. <laughs> this, no, her her legs are not crossed. <laughs> 
my comparisons are out of this world today, I swear. Anyways, um, Narcisa Rodriguez, Rodriguez, another one that has a beautiful ingredient blend, very potent on white floral, but to me it's like a, a freshly um, cleaned wool sweater. Very cozy, very inviting, but has some masculinity to it, which to me is fantastic. Very good longevity. I really, really enjoy it. Okay, another white floral that is definitely on my favorites list. Again, it's in Poland, unfortunately. The bottle is just too big to travel with if I have so many fragrances to, to you know, transport. And um, this is Elisab Le Parfum. I love that one. It's so, so, so beautiful. It actually has African orange flower as a top note. And then in the dry down, it has beautiful, beautiful rose honey. And in the middle, you have beautiful jasmine, of course. So one of the best oriental fragrances. I know that my boyfriend really likes it. There is some sexiness to it. It's white floral, but it's oriental. It's inviting. Uh, Elisa Bleu Parfum really, really reminds me of um, Middle Eastern gardens. Like, you know, you have a palace and there are gardens in there. I remember going to YSL uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, gardens in Morocco and they smelled so, so alike. When I wear Elisab, I really feel like Princess Jasmine, daytime, because <laughs> to me it's a more of a daytime scent, but still very, very sophisticated, good lasting power. Um, so yeah, Elisab Le Parfum, very good white floral. Okay guys, so that will be a wrap for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope I gave you some guidelines when it comes to white florals. As I said, white florals can be very nice and innocent like Narciso Rodriguez or they can be very indolic and sexy and deep like Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. Or they can be super dusty like Orchid Soleil but I still like it for some reason. So I feel like they are so versatile to me. Vanilla and white floral Florals are definitely the most versatile notes in fragrances because you can do so much with them. You can blend them with so many different things and get out a different result. So that's a beauty of perfumery and white florals, of course. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you tomorrow. Bye.